What's up, my name is Debbie Ryan and this is my skincare and beauty routine, whether I'm traveling or at home. These little stickers, which are fun to wear out during the day, but also cute for if you have little breakouts. I start by clearing my skin, taking a washcloth and wetting a corner and wetting my face. And then I use this cleanser. This is how much I use, like the tiniest baby amount. I like to use my hands for basically my entire beauty routine. So I always start by washing my hands or cleansing my hands. Cold hands, I think is really nice to sort of depuff if you ever wake up with inflammation or whatever. So now we've rinsed and we can just rotate 90 degrees, use the dry corner, potion time. I like the ones that are a little bit more clarifying or brightening. Every once in a while I'll use witch hazel, just available at your local pharmacy and just put a few drops sort of on my fingers or on the corner. And I like to just put these on like my nose where it can become quite congested. My face just really freaked out actually later in my teens. You know, when you're a teenager, it's spotty. And then I was wearing makeup and under lights and I decided to educate myself as much as possible on what worked for me. And it's so different for everyone and so personal for everyone, but it's been a really nice ride to sort of mix and match and create this like beautiful menagerie of pieces that I can pull from and integrate depending on what my skincare needs and what my lifestyle indicates at the time. I believe that good skin and beauty is about like five things. It's about rituals and not miracles, gratitude and letting go of resentment, drinking a lot of water and staying hydrated, getting a lot of sleep and finding what works for you. This I've been using, I love these little droppers. They make me feel like an alchemist. They make me feel like I'm doing real chemistry. My husband has heard me talk about all sorts of interesting discoveries um, about skincare and he's already a very hygienic person. It was a huge selling point for me to the point where like he showers more often than I do. Is that too, too much information? This is where we bring out our power tools. This is a power tool. This is an analog tool. I was shooting a movie in Italy and Aubrey Plaza and I were like sitting in her hotel room doing skincare and she had these two sort of like face stimulating wand things. And we were both just like sort of zoning out doing it. And then I gave it back and she was like, no, I want you to keep that. So now I have like friendship face things. This is a solar wave. I think it has ultra something red light. Mostly I like to just depuff with it. People love a gua sha and it has different sort of angles, but whatever you've put on under it should allow it to sort of smooth across your face and glide. So one of the first places that I think can sort of show lines, especially as someone I love to laugh and I, it shows up here for, for my family, it shows up here and here. So we could do a little bit of eye cream. This is Youth to the People, they're vegan. This is a really thick eye cream. A couple women that I know created this line called Dew. Dew makes reusable eye masks. These guys you can use with whatever eye cream or eye serum that you normally do. So you don't have to be getting a bunch of new things. It's not ending up in landfills or whatever. These are a thing that I will bring to set and they just sort of adhere naturally. While these are on locking in the moisture under my eyes, this is the Globe by Sundry. I'm obsessed with it. I keep it in my fridge. I didn't grow up with a lot of access to the conversations around beauty. It wasn't really something that I thought about, but my mom is very uh, sort of earthy and incredibly resourceful. And so I just remember as a kid, as a teen and as a young woman, with her, if our hair was sort of dry because we were running around in the sun, she would like leave olive oil in and put it in like a shower cap and we would just do olive oil treatments. It's a cool tool to have to be able to do whatever you need based off of what's in your pantry. I think the biggest lesson that I've learned is the emphasis on skincare, the emphasis on drinking water, the emphasis on getting some rest and educating yourself allows it so that by the time you get to a point before you've even put on makeup, 
so much of the work is done for you. And then you can really highlight and emphasize the, the few things that you think are great and that are really outstanding and that you want to play up or allow them to shine. We're going to take these off, touch a water cream, and then you could just get a little bit. I think things like this are best applied with your fingertips because just sort of allows it to warm up to your like body temperature, your face temperature, and then allows you to really melt into the skin and get deeper in there. So I don't like to wear a lot of foundation. It's definitely because I started wearing makeup on set from a younger age. So a thin moisturizer underneath and then this. What I love about it is it's SPF 30. So the SPF that I used to put on just as SPF, it's the same amount as this, but this also, it sort of blurs and reflects the, the light in a really nice way. And something that I've become quite fond of as a tool that I always keep in my toiletry bag is the hotel toothbrush. So this one is like this. Got to be creates a spiking glue. That stuff, spiking glue for your for short little spiky haircuts, happens to be the perfect texture to put on a hotel toothbrush and flick up your brows. I like to come from the opposite side. So for my left, I like to use my right hand and sort of pull it towards the center to really get our vertical. And then I come from the left side on the right brow. I try to avoid doing too much from them. We all over tweezed. And if you are blessed enough that they grew back, which fortunately I rehabbed mine back onto my face and now I'm gonna keep it minimal. I think being an actor, you have to be pretty neutral, right? You have to be able to sort of serve the story and the timeline and the environment. And so a lot of the things that I do to my face aren't permanent because I like being able to not only adapt as different sort of trends and things happen, but also as different roles come up, be able to embody those skills. So I first learned to do makeup in the passenger seat of the car when my mom would drive me to auditions and 15 years later have married a touring musician. And so I can also do it on a moving bus, on a plane, in an airplane bathroom. I can do it uh, in a car on the way to a red carpet. I'm not into full coverage. I like it looking like skin. I like seeing some like freckles and some redness and some imperfections. So I'll use a foundation that sort of is like sheer, truly that much. This is not gonna surprise you, fingers. I normally just do it really like sort of under my eyes because I don't sleep at night. I have some redness here and some dryness here right now. I like just putting vitamin E oil on my lips or whatever lip balm you use and then just sort of outlining with the washcloth. If I have three pieces of makeup with me, this is one of them. It's like a cheek tint. I think it's like always nice to just feel your cheekbone and then just follow that. Just, you know, bring some dimension to your face. Maybe you use your pinky for your brow bone. You can also put it under your eyes. Lush, the brand that has like bath bombs, has this like tint stuff that has some gold in it. I don't know if you're meant to put it on your face, but it hasn't made me break out. So I'll just tap it on some of those places. I'll tap it on the inner corner or maybe even on the globe of the lid. And it just grabs some sort of glowing and catches the light in a way that's pretty. And again, sort of just blurring. So this is what I use every day. And I usually just use it on the outer corner. I'll go like underneath and sort of fan it out instead of up. When I was shooting the movie Night Teeth, in which I play a vampire, I knew that I could get away with wearing burgundy eyeliner and maroon eyeliner and burgundy mascara. And then one of the last scenes we shot was a pivotal scene in which I become really emotional. As that's happening, I begin to cry. And afterwards, I realized that when you cry with burgundy mascara and crimson eyeliner on, that it looks like you're crying blood, which is 
I wish I could say was a character choice for playing a vampire, but truly uh, it's also a sweet flex on your enemies. I love this balm. It's a really pretty iridescent thing. And I just like put it on my lips. I try and keep balm or something moisturizing on my lips all throughout the day. And then that's it. This is how I would normally sort of go out into the world and be a person. However, my husband who, there's no better way to say it, is an international rock star, has a show tonight. And so I wanna go to that show and I wanna scream my face off. So this is how I amp it up. We take it from day to night. Also, even with a smoky eye, I start like at the edge of the colored part of my eye. I will smudge a little bit of brown or whatever eyeliner and then I'll sort of blow it out. This Victoria Beckham goldy color, I quite like. I put it under, smudge, blow it out. Once I've smudged that out properly and done the same on the top with that other color, I will sharpen it and shape it the way that I want it to, like so. And then the extra that's on the little blurry thing, I'll just smudge onto my eye in that like twiggy shape. So now it looks like I have a smoky eye on and I'm not even wearing eyeshadow. I like to keep the lid light because I think that it adds dimension and pops it forward. Another trick that I like to do for that is to take a white eyeliner. So this is just the Armani concealer. So I don't wear blush for the shows because I dance a lot and my face naturally blushes, but this highlighter has some pink in it, catches the light in a really pretty way. Straight on, dab, perfect, easy. I'll do one more coat of mascara, this time on the bottom as well to emphasize what's going on over there. Use a great nude-ish, pink-ish liner. Uh, one of the things that I love is just a little bit of shine. I got a packet of Swarovski crystals. I'll carry lash glue and I will put one sort of right under my eyes. Depending on how close you put it to the lash line, it can look like you sort of are crying, which very uh, heavenly bodies, very sort of like visible tear. Okay. It's nice to sort of start the night with your hair polished. So for me, the best thing to do is put a little bit of coconut oil in it or whatever sort of moisturizes it. Grab it, swoop it back. My friend Kristen S created these fringe pins at Target and I'm obsessed with them. And this is what we got going on. That's absolutely the most and the least that sort of on average goes into my routine, getting ready for anything life has for me and tonight. It's a show. So if you'll excuse me, my favorite band is about to go play some music and I'm about to go scream my face off. Have a good day.